Okay, in my last video, I set up um, a DNS server on Windows Server 2008, and then I tested it out with a web server on my local network. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about that. First of all, if you want to do that at home, what you want to do is, uh, if you're working with Windows machines, you can go to um, this website right here, uh, wampserver.com, and WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, and you can um, download and install uh, WAMP Server. And when you install it, it'll install um, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, and then you can set up your own web server at home. Uh, when it's running, once you have it running, it'll be running down here in your system tray. You can see I have mine up right here. Now, if you're going to run this at home, um, by default, this um, WAMP server is used for testing out web development, so it is not a secure server by default. So if you want to um, start it up, you start all the services here, you can stop all the services here, you can restart them. The other thing that you can do, and there's a newer version, this is the older version, so your version will look a little bit different, but it'll be the same scenario essentially. What you probably want to do is go to MySQL and go to Service and then um, stop this service. So you can see I have mine stopped right now, it's grayed out, because if you're not going to be using MySQL server, database server, by default it's set up to have a root password set to nothing. So um, if someone was to gain access to your system or you're serving a web server and then you've got a MySQL server there, database server, with a root password of nothing, then um, that's definitely a security risk. So you can see I stopped MySQL. So you can see on my server I've got white here and then a little bit of red, meaning it, not all the services have started up. You know, I'm running Apache, but not um, everything. And you test it out by, when it's up and running, you can test it out by going to localhost on your uh, web browser and you should see your web server and you can see here that I didn't get it um, my web server is not there so I'll just restart all services and let's give it another shot and then I'll go to localhost and you'll see there it is was up. That's my web page. Now, when you have it installed, WAMP server is going to install itself on your C drive. So I've got, here's my C drive, and I'm going down here, and you see it's in a folder called WAMP. And if you go in that folder, you'll see in this folder, the www folder. This is where you put your web pages. So if I go in the www folder here, and I go to my index.html page, let's see here, index html index.php anyway this is where you would write your home page um, let's take a look at this one the index.php file is the default one that you'll see in there and it just basically tells you that WAMP server is running okay my index.php file came up and you can see here it's a PHP file and it just says print was up so there's my home page on my um, Apache web server locally and that's not the index.html page in this case it's the index.php page but you could write either and um, if you want to do in, change your index.php page you can see I changed mine to just that and that's a default home page okay um, so that is a little bit about remember you'll put your web pages in your www folder which is in your WAMP folder which will should be in your C drive all right and moving on so that's how you'd set up a local web server